Well, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. The 2K community want to call the game copy and paste every single year, but anytime the devs do anything remotely different, we just want to abolish it and just be afraid of it. Like, we are afraid of change, man. But, hey, that's the 2K community. LJ, talk to these. Hey, guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great content from my daddy. Good morning! Damn 2K land, man. Check this out, man. I ain't got a lot of y'all, man. The 2K community is hilarious. Like we said, this is what we're talking about today. Y'all know what the big elephant in the room is with the community. It is rhythm shooting. I'm a rhythm, I'm a rhythm shooter. I'm a rhythm shoot till I die. Call me to the barge to the beat of the rhythm of the night. It don't matter. Like you can go out there and miss and shoot one for four, one for five, whatever you want to shoot, and I'm and then get mad at me because I'm shooting five for six or five for five or whatever, and it's not hard to shoot anyway in this game, bro. Like, people have this myth going on that, that, that it's hard to shoot. The devs have already ninja, ninja, uh, chain shooting or what have you, and at this point, let's like see it say, if you're missing, a lot of times you know why you're missing. I don't, I, I just don't understand why people are still saying it's so inconsistent when it's not. Everybody I'm playing, a, playing against, like as Breezy would say, is chicken! Everybody is chicken! Except for the people that are complaining that are not chicken. So like, if, and 90, what I would say, like 90% of the people are shooting with the button and all that, man, it, it is what it is. But hey, we're gonna get into all that in one second and more. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below because y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing. Turn it on, Alice! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all, man. First things first, I pop and free. So, hey, we gotta, we gotta go with the stuff that's not related to this, then we'll go to the stuff that's related to it first, man. Check it out. My boy Splashy, a regular on the show. Hey, man, 2K25, not even that bad. It's just bad when you play for money or any form of comp game play. I agree because there's so many things that can be exploited in this game that are not rhythm shooting, it's not even funny. Uh, left sticking, uh, real player percentage at the rim, busted interior, there's so many things that, that, that make the game uncompetitive. Uh, you know, it, it, I could definitely understand where he's coming from. Tried every mode from stage to program to proving grounds, games, uh, play now. Dang, even play now? My team and my league, the game is just riced. <laughs> at a competitive level, I, I agree. Uh, I don't know how we're supposed to play for money on this till 26 and dude said hey wild it's wild that you say uh 2k25 is worse than 24 as as far as playing for money wise he says it's not even close this game just isn't made for comp uh game plan that's probably why they took the 2k league away stuff too man uh too much luck involved and they force and the force misses avoid runs uh that will end stuff uh best play best players in the world should it shouldn't know that they hit too many shots in a row on the hardest difficult. We should know that they go hit too many shots in a row on the hardest difficult. That's just how it goes, man. Like it is unfortunate, but yeah, I think that they don't want the game to be competitive, and that when we are trying to play a competitive game or do something competitively, we're just kind of forcing what they don't really, really uh want or what have you. Oh, uh, also that boy Joe knows he came with this man. He says, like, I don't know if this is intentional or a mistake, but cross server matchmaking. Uh I have randomly been matched against opponents from West servers, Asia servers, and more. Having to play a full second uh, play on a full second delay is miserable gaming experience. He said, holy uh this is what uh Bash Badgy Plug is say, hey holy poop. Uh and so it begins. I warned everyone. And he says it's it's, it's just is it just me or have y'all had it happen to me? And he says, okay, so we're not tripping. And, you know, more or less what we're saying is that you're getting the cross server stuff because skill based matchmaking is kicking in. This is something that happened with Call of Duty, where it happens with Call of Duty all the time, where instead of prioritizing your connection, it prioritizes your skill level or something like that. And uh, with that, what ends up happening is like you'll be playing your first games. Like, so I, I, I live in the Southeast, I, I live in Atlanta. So I'll play my first few games against other dudes from the south side of Atlanta, north side of Atlanta, east side, west side. You know, I'm playing everybody in there who got a full, full gamer tag, 7 7 0, something like that. You know, 4 7, but they got, they got all those type of gamer tags. I hear the Atlanta slang in there and all of that stuff. This is how I start out with Call of Duty and stuff, right? And then uh, after I play two or three games, I'm playing, I'm playing the, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Seal Team 6 from Canada. You see what I'm saying? Because it's going to put me against people that are on my level rather than put me against people that are in my area or what have you. And that sucks. So what he's saying is it's starting to happen. This is also starting to happen with uh, 2K in that 
it's just gonna put you against people on your skill level and it doesn't matter it doesn't care where they are or what what your experience is its only priority is to put you against people on a similar skill level and it creates a very very miserable experience for uh for us or you know the person that's actually better and then like then at, at some at some points you're like man these dudes ain't even really better than me this has got a better connection. They're killing me. I'm dying one bullet deaths, and I'm having to put a whole box of bullets in the thing. So, you know, that's how that happens, man. But I digress, man. Up next, we got my boy Laker fan talking about one of the things that I think is busted in the game. Passive dribble hand switches is one of my favorite new additions. Makes for great change, uh, pace change opportunities. I ain't gonna lie, man. He said, explain that stuff to me. Uh, I was told to turn it off, man. That's the, you only turn it off if you if you don't use the left stick. A, pa a passive ball hand is is just left sticking, man. If you know how to left stick in this game, you it, it's gonna be tough uh, on the defender because left sticking is the best thing to do because you can't get a bump on somebody that left sticks until they come out of the animation. So a lot of times, bro, in the, especially in here. In these proven grounds, when you get up to uh, like platinum and diamond, the only thing you're gonna see is somebody come up the court and uh and and uh and and what's his name? Um uh the, 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 my man from the Suns, uh Booker. The Booker switch hands, Booker switch hands again, and that joint takes you all the way across the court. So now you can't bump him, you can't even get close to him. And then they're gonna go by you and go to the rim, sprint to the rim. If nobody steps over, if you catch back up, they're gonna put their back on you and they're gonna they're gonna post spin you or they're gonna post phase you or what have you. And that's how that's how it works. Uh, once you get up to a higher level here in in the proving grounds, man, and then they're gonna in the post phase and do the little things. So it, it sucks, but it's one of those things. Like I said, that's that's a bigger concern than rhythm shooting to me. Speaking of rhythm shooting, we got that boy John Bridge for saying, "Hey, pro am leagues are banning rhythm shooting," and this is the UHL. I don't know if this is the one in my boy run, but uh, hey, he just says I, I understand that a lot of times you have to. I don't want to say bow because bow sounds bad, but you have to. The people sign. The people run the league. Like you are the commissioner of the league, but the people actually run the league. So if people say that we don't want rhythm shooting in the league because of this or that, and I'm not going to play or pay my money, but if y'all have rhythm shooting, then the people that run the league they have to bend and they have to uh they have to accommodate them. And 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 like I said, I felt like this when people were talking about rhythm shooting and the paddles and all that, I've seen this agenda the entire time. That's why I said, I hope people don't try to use this as a way to abolish rhythm shooting or ban rhythm shooting and whatever. And it seems like they did. They, they tried to ban the dunk meter with Joe last year, but everybody used it. So if it's something that somebody doesn't use and they perceive it, if, if something is perceived to give you an advantage, people are gonna want it banned, right? But only if they don't use it. So if they use it, and everybody uses it, it's widely used, they're gonna be cool with it. But anyways, this says uh, UHL rule update, rhythm shooting is banned due to controllers with unfair advantage. They had to find any reason. When you want something done, any reason or no reason is good enough. That's that's what my uh, that's pops used to say. Uh, any 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 reason or no reason. It's just like a right to workplace. But he says, hey, please ensure everyone on the team is aware of this rule uh, update. If a player is caught using it, the opposing team must record and send evidence to the admin. Owners are responsible for ensuring all all players are informed of of the rule update. So that's what they said, man. And and like a lot of people, like like um. Like this cast, I mean, this is uh, Kevin Sider. He says, hey, look, man, any league that bans rhythm shooting isn't a league worth being in. Probably give out participation trophies to all the members uh, at the end of the season, too. And what they're saying, I get what he's saying, and I definitely agree with that because, like, this is something that's actually in the game, and it's nothing wrong with it. But, but a lot of people don't want to see it, so you have to, if you're a league runner, if you run the league, you either have to accommodate what everybody wants or you have to just simply not make any money on the league and the goal of the league is to make money and to get people in if people saying we're not going to play because uh you know if rhythm shooting is there then people not gonna play man and then i, I so uh this one fella says man they're talking about rhythm shooting or whatever oh hold on hold on what's going on let me hit that right there I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, okay, he said it's hard to think that somebody can do something that you can, that you can just hop. This is just a hop shot and a fade. Nothing catch and shoot about it. Because somebody said uh, this would do was saying all your stuff is catch and shoot. So this is where this came from. He says, say to every point guard in the game, I get it. And then he said, Lord save me. So more or less, what this was is, is uh, you know, yeah, I, I don't really know what he's saying. God dang, Iggy Mo six for twenty six. Damn, six for twenty six. Damn. 
four for 22 from three. Dang, dang, dang. Iggy! Just use a stick, Iggy. Bro, look. Shit. Hey, yo! If you're shooting this bad, you might as well use rhythm shooting, bro. Hold on, let me hit that. You might as well use rhythm shooting if you're shooting this bad. What do you got to lose at this point? Why you want to die on a hill that has no benefits? But... I, I digress. And he says, and he says, I've never had an issue with shooting this year, point guard or big, master rhythm shooting, and it's and it's easy. And so, you know, he's showing here four or four, whatever. And uh, and this right here, you know, here he go three or four and all of that good stuff, seven or nine. That's what I say, man. They put something in the game. I get what y'all are saying. They put something in the game to help you to not have to deal with with it, but y'all feel like that they nerfed the other side, but they did it. You're just at shooting like it is what it is sit and told y'all this if he can do it why can't y'all do it but hey it is what it is man and then he says hey all your stuff is off catch and shoot he said exactly i hate mfs uh like i hate when mfs like this trying to okay exactly i hate mfs like this trying to seem like they doing it and this is what they were saying with sid like sid was a catch and shoot guy but he wasn't and then he came in and just showed y'all real quick nah this ain't off catch and shoot there's just a quick fade and a pull up and he said hard to think that somebody can do something that you can't that you can't, huh? It's just a hop shot of the fade. Nothing. Um, hold up, boom. He says it's just a it's just a hop shot and a fade, and a fade. Nothing catch and shoot about it. It's not hard if you just freaking practice. Been a rhythm shooting since day one, but we just talking about practice right there, man. And that's why I take this opportunity to be like, hey, bro. That when I seen Swag Godly out there shooting day one and he wasn't missing, bro, and I was like, um, I was like, yo. I want to do what he's doing. I'm having issues with the button. I just didn't understand my shot at the time. I understand the game. And I said, you know what? If he can do it, I can do it because I literally govern my life by this. This quote by Marcus Aurelius. And he says, <clears throat> if a thing is humanly possible, consider it to be, in your, be within your reach. That just means if he can do it, I can do it. I don't believe, and now I am delusional at this, but I don't believe that there's something that another human being can do that I can't do. Now, I know I can't play in the NBA till I'm 40 and stuff like that, like LeBaron and all that. Look, I get that part, but I'm just saying, if something is humanly possible, consider it to be within your reach. If he can do it, I can do it. It ain't nothing that somebody can do that I'm not able to do or actually become semi-proficient at. That's how I believe it's not always true, but you gotta be delusional like that if you're a go-getter. Go-getter! Go hey, if you're a go-getter, you gotta you gotta do that, man. So like, a lot of people though, like they, they don't wanna do it. It's like, if, if something is foreign to me and somebody else is using it and they're doing better, then like, like some people be thinking like TikTok and, and YouTube and all that should be taken because other people are making money from it. But I ain't making no money from it. I ain't got, everybody don't got TikTok. Everybody don't got this. Everybody don't got, man, shut the f up. Shut the f up. Like hard they say, quit being a baby back, bitch. Pull your pants up and pull your short and, 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 and just go out there and get it, man. Like stop all this complaining. This is what everybody do. If I don't do it, it should be outlawed. Like the world don't work like that. I can, I can go, I got good credit and I make good money. So guess what? I can go get things that other people can't get conversely. Aiden Ross just gave a man a $100,000 boat and, and, and told him he's going to give him a kick streaming deal. I'm not going to get mad because Aiden can do that and I can't. I don't think they should take Twitch, tick, TikTok off the internet or take a, a what, what's this joint called? Kick off the internet and I'm going to be mad at him. I'm going to figure out a way. Shoot, hey. If I can, if I can go get it, I can go get it. If it's, if I can't do it, I just can't. It's okay. But somebody can do something that you can't. That's just how this world works. That's how we got. Obviously, somebody can develop a video game and and we can play it, and you can't do it. It just is what it is. Look, like I, I don't know, man. We we just gonna keep going, man. Hey, dude says, uh, this is now this is just the thing about rhythm shooting. The attack on rhythm shoot. This but no, it's not an attack on rhythm shooting. This is my man saying like they talking about rhythm shooting. He says I prefer. I prefer they immediately address the steals. Interceptions, interceptions are broken. Also, just passing in general. I've been moving. I've been moving uh, with the when I, I've been moving. I'm I'm being moved. Okay, I'm being moved when I have the controller down, uh, receiving a pass. Exactly. Uh, I like rhythm shooting less than I like rhythm shooting less than zero points. One percent of people are uh, are in modes when when it's banned. Focused on focus on ninety nine percent of the folks. So he pretty much what he's saying is, bro. That, that it ain't that many people are using rhythm shooting. A lot of people do, the computer does and stuff like that. So it seems like a lot more people are, ain't that many people using it. It's probably less than, 
I say less than 10% of people using rhythm shooting, man. And then my man, Yo Jay said, he says, hey man, they're literally, this is why, this is one of the reasons they banned it. They're literally shooting, shooting, they're literally button shooting with rhythm shooting benefits. That's not what's happening. You just don't understand how rhythm shooting works. It's okay. But he says, uh, with rhythm shooting benefits, people have to stop downplaying it saying, hey, you still have to time it. Do we not understand that button shooting has an RNG effect while rhythm shooting has literal, has uh, a literal 70% boost. It's not a 70% boost. It is a 70% wider green window. And I explained to you guys why that was. Because when you are using the button, when you come off the button, it is immediate. But there is time that elapses between me coming off of this stick and going to here. So there's a time that elapses when, when that happens, right? So because of that, they have to make the green window a little bigger. There's also time that elapses from the time that the game registers you, that the fact that you want to rhythm shoot to, to, uh, to until the time that your eyes see that it starts happening. So they have to give you a bigger green window because of those two factors, this is those limiting factors. Because even though I can see that I need to come off the button, it still takes about a quarter of a second for me to see it. And then it's going to take, a, you know, it takes, uh, it takes time about a quarter of a second for me to move the stick and for the stick to register that it has gone from here to here. So it's not exactly that. I understand what y'all trying to say. It, you know, it's like one of them things like nice try, but I, I feel you, but it's, it's not exactly what is going on there. But I get it though. Y'all don't want it in the game. It is what it is because you can't do it or you just don't want to do it. If you don't want to do it, I just ignore stuff that I don't want to do. But hey, that's how I handle stuff. It says leads band rhythm shooting, but allow real player percentage on layups and free throws. Our priorities are fucked up and i agree with you on that that's what i'm saying bro like like we allow one thing we allow the thing that everybody use and everybody exploits but something that's not even an exploit we want to take that out because we don't want to use it that's crazy he said why people keep trying to call rhythm shooting the skill gap uh in 2k community is so bad but bad we think that holding the right stick down uh that stick up and down separate somebody with skill and they choose i mean and those who don't literally i learned in five minutes i mean I literally learned in five minutes the RNG shooting is uh is still killing the game. Just remove it. Just remove what the RNG shooting. Hey, you're still getting RNG when you're shooting with this with the uh rhythm stick. And if you learn in five minutes, I don't understand why you're upset at it. That's just crazy to me, but hey, it is what it is. Hey, they're gonna take say they gotta take off the 70% boost from rhythm shooting since dudes are cheating now. Hey, I mean if they took it off then that was just destroyed and it wouldn't work anymore and i'll just go back to using the button bro like like i said we've we've i don't know if y'all been watching if y'all watch the stream sometimes y'all know that i take most shots with rhythm shooting but the important shots i take those with the button and do you know why i take important shots with the button? because there's too much stuff that can go wrong with the rhythm shooting like bro there's times that the stick just straight up malfunctions pause and and it's just like you try to take the shot and he just won't take the shot and then it'll come up there and it'll say very late very late and he just, it's just be bad all all around and on game winning shots i'm not risking that i'm just gonna take the shot with the button because i've, I've tailored my jump shot to work with both rhythm shooting and the button but hey it is what it is man like you can miss with both of them. It just, like I said, it's so situational to me, like it's crazy, man. Hey, says, hey, Baluba, come on, don't change rhythm shooting. I use, I use, uh, I use it with my stick. They just scared of change. I agree with that. Make them change. And the people don't want to have to change. My man said, rhythm shooting is here to stay. Uh, it feels like trying to move people off of the button. It feels like trying to move people off using uh, button shooting, adapt or die, or in this case, adapt or play at a competitive disadvantage. It's your choice. I don't even think you had a competitive disadvantage because if you got a high enough three ball, you're gonna hit at a high brute, can shoot at a higher clip with the button than I can because he got a 90 some three ball, I got an 85. I just I just use it because I feel like I got more control, but hey, it is what it is. Hey, people trying to get rhythm shooting out of, out of the game. Uh, LMFAO. Hey, that's what I say right there, man. And then like, hey, this is what Joe said. <laughs> hey, finally, Black Market needs some new lock. Hit him one for the... <laughs> Joe a troll, man. Why are you doing that to Bauer, man? I said, hey, because Bauer said, I kind of don't want to play in leagues this year. Because Bauer, he's he's been shooting the lights out with the ball. This is something I want to show y'all right here, too, about rhythm shooting. This shot right here, if you do the paddles, I promise you, from, from this distance, you're not hitting that shot with the paddles. You have to, because I know, I just know that that's a slower wind up and that's a slower flick of the wrist. 
if you shoot that with a palace, you're probably gonna miss, man. It just is what it is, man. But hey, Bauer has been using the button the entire time. And, uh, you know, Swag, you know, he just wanted to become more consistent. So he started using the stick. He's trying to learn it. And it just sucks because the skill that he's finally adapted, they're taking away from him. This young man right here has been using it since day one, man. And he says, hey, this Swag golly, I've been rhythm shooting it since day two of the game. And now leagues are banning it, uh, banning it for everyone because the button of button mapping. I use a power weight controller with no paddles. And yep, I definitely got the I got two power weight controllers. That's what I use too, man. Uh, with no paddles and stream every game I play. I haven't played a full game shooting with the button since day one, shaking my head. Yeah, I feel the same way, my my dog. Like it's just crazy. Hey, Cardi says, hey, I'm seeing that, that these that leagues are banning rhythm shooting. Uh, rhythm shooting is getting banned everywhere. A lot of people try to adapt to uh to what you wanted baluba but it's time to fix button shooting and take rng out of uh out of all shooting that's just never gonna happen y'all do y'all want zins back i think y'all low-key want zins back man we appreciate the effort but our kid clearly isn't working season two patch better be nuclear i think it's working i think it's fine i think people just don't want to adapt they want to try to kind of push you toward it but you know i, I don't know man it just is what it is like like we we, we like they pushed us toward pro play and people fought it until we found a few cheesy moves and stuff like that so people are okay with that i just think you got to stand your ground on this one and go now this is something that definitely should be taken out of the game this definitely should be taken out of every league they say 2k25 is cooked they really uh they really been in the game for 40 days now can we get a gameplay patch already we're gonna get one next week but what is he talking about is this this should not be allowed in any league these this right here it's broken if you tell me that this is this is broken and rhythm shooting is the reason, yes, I will absolutely agree with you because this has no place in the game at all. Like, like this is what some people are doing and people are trying to act like it's not an issue. You can do this on any build against anybody if you have a high enough close shot. And this is unacceptable. But this is the 2K community and we're going to find any way to win. And instead of trying to get better at something and learn something, we're going to learn how to abuse it for our own purposes. I just don't understand how this went overlooked. Uh, that means that does that mean that nobody post scores in the uh in you know with the devs and stuff or just people just didn't i think that when they went out there to test the game they just didn't even test test rhythm shooting or anything like that man but like i said hey it's up to y'all what y'all want to do i really could care less it, it just do what y'all want to do man i can adapt to anything they take rhythm shooting out it, it'll be unfortunate but they did it in 2k20 in, in 2k21 and we were just fine i adapted the shooting with the button just fine i just like i just like using rhythm shooting uh because when you rhythm shoot i just feel like i got more more control over my shot and stuff like that i used to feel like i had less control over my shot now i feel like i have more control over my shot but hey and it, and, and i don't think it's just because of the bigger green window because like i showed y'all that's the mechanic that the bigger green window is just really a function of the big, bigger green window is just a function of you having to move the stick from A to B. But hey, it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I really could care, could not care less. Do what y'all want to do uh, because the 2K community, 2K puts out a game, the community gets dead set on ruining it. And that's where we at with it right now, man. So listen, in a month when, when it's all over and the dust settles and ain't nobody watching videos and nobody doing this, just hey, blame yourself because y'all ruined the game. It is what it is, man. Just take if you want to take credit for that, take credit for, for ruining it too. Anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. <laughs> I'll let y'all next time to the next time. Cause like I said, it's just news to me, baby. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh with the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Guys,